uh, with the world famous designer Alfredo Herbeli in Zurich, in Switzerland, to find out the way he's thinking about design and what drives him. But first, I'd like to ask you, how did it all start and why did you get interested in design? Uh, like maybe you know, I grew up in Argentina and mm -hmm. I came then with 14 to Switzerland and I was missing a little bit um, the Latin side here in Zurich. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went quite often to Milano and I discovered there that there are a person or object that I really like uh, and I saw underneath always the same picture on the same the same person and yeah. that was Achille Castiglioni, yeah. very known uh, Italian designer architect. Yeah. So I figured out that there is a profession which we call designer. Okay. Uh, yeah. It sounds very strange for you but yeah. it was totally not. It's it's like now it's hip and, and very yeah everybody talks about design. Yeah. But it for me it was like a fabric who produced use object they they just do the shape I don't know yeah. I never realized that somebody is creating a shape or creating an idea yeah. and then producing it so that's how it started I started to, to study in Zurich here yeah. and then I opened the day after my studio after my degree 91 yeah. so Alfredo I see lots of nice interesting things here in your studio uh, could you tell me uh, who are your clients I work for many Italian companies like Alias or Moroso, but I also, after 10 years working for uh, Italy, I went north and I started to work for Itala or George Jensen or Quadrat in Denmark. So when, when I look at your portfolio, mm -hmm. uh, it's very hard to pinpoint you. Are you an architect or a designer or an artist or do you do project? Uh, what's your take on that? Yes. I have to say that I really like to be industrial designer. That's that's where my, my heart is beating very strong. And I was also proud when, when I designed a uh, essence glass for Itala that we produce more than 20,000 per day. I was nearly crying or like because I realized that's what I want to do, to offer uh, people design for the everyday life. So I'm, I'm really industrial designer. But of course, I did recently in Zurich a hotel, 25 hours hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked uh, three years on that. Uh, I designed from the carpets to the door handle, uh, from the glasses to the chair, everything, even the graphic I did together with my wife, mm -hmm. Stephanie. So uh, I also did 25 boutiques for Camper mm -hmm. worldwide. So mm -hmm. I also like, I did four restaurants. So I like to do the interior, but just for friends or very special uh, situations. But industrial design, it's, it's my, 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 my profession. So Alfredo, where do you find your ideas, your inspiration? Where does it come from? Uh, for me, it's really the everyday life. I just say observing is the best way of thinking. So I really observe objects like you see here in this pin wall. Yeah. Uh, I just collect with no reason. Uh, it's just an uh, object that I found uh, secondhand, that I found on the street, that I also received from friends. That yeah. they say, listen Alfredo, you are so curiously, yeah. what do you think it's that? And so, oh, yeah. and, and by looking to it uh, as an example here, you have an uh, American uh, football mask. Yeah. And it was the starting point for this chair that I designed for Classicon, a German company. Mm. The name is Nice. Mm. And it really started by looking to this object mm -hmm. uh, or here that's what I talked before about the door handle for the hotel this is uh, yes the door handle that I designed uh, yes for uh, this situation but mostly there are objects which are not from me so it's just the object that I found okay. or here in yeah. your back you see a funnel or a cone uh, that I bought in, in Berlin, in Germany, a uh, very big one. So you pour liquid in it and it's, I like it because it's in porcelain. And this is just here around. And by, by working on, on a teapot, I was just holding this cone or funnel and I add a, a paper, uh, mm -hmm. yes, so I thought that could be a nice movement. At the meantime, this is a hammer. 
which another shape and very ergonomic knife looks yeah. also like a bottle mm -hmm. so I thought I combine these two elements uh, to a, a new one and this end up by being a teapot with a leather uh, grip and what's interesting on that it's not only the shape it's also that we have here the tea egg mm -hmm. and you know you have these problems in the everyday life yeah. that you, have, you do the tea after yeah. three or five minutes you have to take away the, mm -hmm. the, the herbs yeah. and then you drop mm -hmm. and for me this is a disaster the begin the morning can begin with a problem yeah. the drops uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. spoiling I don't know you sure whatever so what you do after three or four minutes you just move the egg on a higher position and it's still dropping inside of the and this at the end is uh, the way to pull. Hmm? So Alfredo you got loads of fantastic things here uh, how how can you find your way around here do you ever get lost? Or? No I think be behind the, the objects that you see also again here and books are an inspiration also but it doesn't matter what it is or as an example this here um, this is a window dresser tool. So the, 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 the designer who do the windows, um, they, that's the only tool that I need. So you have here combined a, a very small hammer to put the, the, the needles. Mm -hmm. uh, you have here, you see, to take it away or to work, a screwdriver. Eh? So you have all, all the items that he needs. So he only has in the pocket one tool. So I'm inspired also by these objects and maybe one day I can translate it to, to totally another uh, object. Walking around here in the studio, um, uh, fantastic, a lot of nice things here, but I've been looking at this all the time uh, and I can't figure out what is this? What's going on here? Oh, this is a, a very, very special project. I just showed it in Milano recently uh, during the Salone del Mobile. It was uh, commissioned by BMW and I received only two keywords, precision and poetry. And I was thinking on the mobility of the future and, and on, on luxury. And I just create this object which is not a plane, not a boat and not a car. I don't know how, what the mobility of the future will be, but I end up by giving this shape. Uh, here you have a scale model, um, which the size, um, it's 10 by 15 meters. It's uh, used wind to move. And in this case, this model has a, a sledge. Eh? So mm -hmm. I even don't know how the cities will be in the future. But I explained that in 600 square meter of exhibition and also we did a book about it. And I just raised more questions than really giving answer. Uh, so that's a, a very, very special project that I did recently. <laughs> international designer uh, with five employees here at your studio uh, where will you go from now Ooh, good question <laughs> and of course I, I'm really proud to to do what I do I do it very personal I'm following every project I could have two times uh, more people assistant but it will not be following by myself so I like this size, very laboratory wise. Uh, I can do big projects like a hotel uh, or a project like for BMW, this one here. At the meantime, um, I, I think that we have to take more care about our future, uh, especially as a designer, and we mm -hmm. can do uh, that. Uh, the next interesting project goes in that direction. It's a prefabricated house that I will finish next year and it will be completely ecological. Uh, the highest level you can build the house today ecological wise. And that's interesting because again, I receive kind of a carte blanche to do that. If you were to give a young person that wants to become a designer an advice, what would that be? I think I would wish the young designers, more time, uh, passion, 
I think they need today to give them between five and ten years time to, to get to succeed in a way uh, with the profession. Uh, I, I would say you have to follow your instinct and keep going.